All right, so it's now time to get introduced to uh, what is commonly known as the Aldol reaction. The Aldol reaction actually encompasses a whole host of uh, different uh, types of uh, reactions, and there's a lot of uh, theoretical work that we have to think about. But hence, there's a whole chapter based on on, on this rea uh, this uh, type of reactions using enolates. Um, where the electrophile is essentially just a carbonyl group in the form of either an aldehyde uh, or a ketone. So to introduce this uh, chemistry, I'm actually going to do a reaction which I think we used to do in second year um, labs, maybe you, you still do, but uh, it's where we take uh, benzaldehyde, this is an incredibly easy reaction uh, to do, we'll take benzaldehyde, uh, we add acetone to it, um, and in the presence of a base, a very mild base like sodium hydroxide, and as a solvent we would have ethanol, that's not too important in uh, this reaction, but I'm just writing it there. Uh, if we mix those together, um, preferably with uh, two equivalents of the of uh, the aldehyde, the final product that we get looks like this. Uh, and its trivial name is, or it's not, yeah, trivial name is uh, dibenzylidine uh, acetone. And um, also DBA. Uh, it is actually a ligand that's used uh, to, to complex to palladium, so it's actually quite a useful molecule. They use it to um, so you can work with palladium, palladium zero, um, so it's, it's a useful ligand, but it's actually a very simple molecule to make. Uh, it just literally this just uh, falls out of solution. However, I'm sure that you are starting to appreciate that um, quite a lot of kind of mechanistic chemistry has occurred to go from here uh, to there. What I hope you appreciate is that um, the acetone part of the molecule is sitting over here, and this is part of the benzaldehyde uh, uh, on either end. So <clears throat> let's just have a look and see what is, is going on. We've got here an aldehyde. Um, the aldehyde has no alpha hydrogen atom, so when we treat it with a base, this is not going to react in any uh, significant way with the, the sodium hydroxide, which is a very mild uh, base. However, the acetone itself has uh, inalizable protons, which are alpha. And it's got two sides. It's symmetrical. Um, there's nothing exciting with that. So anyway, so the base uh, can deprotonate. Um, and so we'll put all these hydrogens in, uh, we'll deprotonate, uh, and we form our uh, enolate. So that goes down to this, and uh, let me just draw it on that side, and I swung it around. Um, so it forms our enolate. Now remember that this base is not strong enough to force this enolization all the way um, to, to do this side. In fact, the equilibrium is going to lie very much towards the acetone starting material uh, over there. However, in solution now, we will have some starting material acetone, quite a lot of it, uh, the aldehyde, and this enolate that has been generated. The enolate now is our reactive intermediate. It, it wants to react with something. Uh, and what we discovered earlier on was uh, last week was that aldehydes are incredibly good electrophiles. And so this enolate can react, donate back its electrons, and react with the aldehyde in this sort of fashion. Uh, and the product that we get from this, and this is also important just to realize that this is also uh, an equilibrium reaction and can go back, although it's favored in the forward direction. Right? It's favored to form the product. Um, what we get is 
so it's no longer the aldehyde, but an O minus. The new bond has formed, and this is now the acetone um, part. Those three carbons from acetone, this is the new bond that was formed. And this is the first intermediate. This O minus can now pick up um, a proton from the environment. Um, notice that the OH picked up a proton over here forming water. So we do have water present. So water can now donate its proton back and we get OH minus being formed. Uh, and so we end up with uh, this um, compound here. <coughs> which is the typical product of a base catalyzed um, aldol reaction. Um, we will come back to, to uh, uh, um, why reactions sometimes stop at this point. Uh, we'll get to that. But often this is a point that can be the end of a reaction. Uh, however, obviously this is not the same as the product we've given over here. Um, under these conditions, which are thermodynamic conditions, we can actually get further reactions occurring. And we're going to now do a mechanism which you have already seen. You definitely would have done this in second year, I'm hoping. Pretty sure you've done it. Uh, and that is an E1CB elimination reaction. And that is where the base that has been regenerated over here can now come and pick up a proton, and the electrons from the carbon hydrogen bond do not go in to form a double bond here and kick out an OH minus, because an OH minus is a very bad leading group. Um, I know it might seem a bit sort of overly technical to do it this way, but it, this is important in terms of the way these reactions occur. And rather what happens is the electrons form the enolate as we would ex as, as we've done before. So we form the enolate, OH there, mm -hmm. double bond, O minus, all right. Plus, we've now formed water again, um, and the inner lead can now bounce back in flow of electrons, kicking out an OH minus, uh, and that gives us the uh, double bond in that position. And plus an OH minus. Whoops. Right. Okay. So if, if you look at the whole reaction, OH minus picks up an H, forms water. Dun, 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 dun. Reprotonates, forms OH minus. Okay. So OH minus is regenerated. OH minus picks up an H. So it's now water. Flow back. OH minus is given off. So it's been regenerated. So overall, this reaction is actually catalytic because we've regenerated the OH. This type of reaction where we've gone through a full condensation uh, reaction by giving off uh, water at the end. All right. So this is the basic format of the old, old type of reaction. There are a lot of little subtle things that we have to appreciate, but you've got to know this mechanism first. You must get an, uh, an appreciation. There's nothing terribly uh, different from what we've done so far, because the formation of the enolates you know. The electrophile is something slightly different, but you have done reactions on carbonyl uh, compounds before, so just note the similar sort of patterns. And then lastly, we've got this possibility of an E1CB reaction uh, occurring like that. What you need to do now is to practice this by taking this molecule over here and doing the reaction again so that you get the final product that I drew out um, in the beginning. All right, so practice that. Do it yourself. Take the base deprotonate, react with the other molecule of uh, benzaldehyde, and make sure that you can actually draw all of those out. And then we'll continue with this uh, uh, work in class on Wednesday.